The town of Morinville has changed its rules about photo radar. They're getting tough with photo radar there. The council, unlike Edmonton City Council, they don't think it's all in the name of safety. In fact, they're admitting that part of photo radar is to raise revenues. And if a city isn't careful, it becomes a cash cow. Of course, this is what people have been saying in Edmonton for years, drivers who've been getting more and more tickets in this city. It's not about safety. This is about your revenues. They're admitting it in Morinville, and they're taking action. The mayor of Morinville, Lisa Holmes, says, as much as I agree it's a safety tool, photo radar is a revenue tool for municipalities. Now there's a truth bomb for you. On Twitter, I talked to people about her comments, and uh, Kenny Zubes said, how does photo radar stop a person from speeding at that instant? It doesn't. So this is a typical complaint about photo radar. Some people say we should put in digital speed signs instead of photo radar, because that gets you to slow down right in that moment. Rob Noxious says, no kidding, of course it's a cash cow. Why not use those signs that post your speed? People slow down for those. Then there was R. Hunter at Diva Ruthai. I don't think photo radar being a revenue tool is wrong or a bad thing. And in fact, fair enough, as long as it's also about safety. From Rory at Beards Brown, if you don't like tickets, don't speed. If you know where they ticket, extra don't speed. It's only a cash cow because it works. So this is a typical, uh, the typical uh, argument point that you'll hear from people who are in favor of photo radar is never go over the speed limit, you don't have to worry about it. And fair enough. Except everyone goes over the speed limit. Almost everyone goes over it all the time. Flow of safe flow of traffic often over the speed limit. There shouldn't be a problem with that. They should only use photo radar in high accident areas where speed is actually an issue. L. Nate at Reiter Nathan says, but if you don't speed, it's not a cash cow or some self-righteous BS like that. Randy Horst says, what's the problem? Think safety first. We don't have enough officers to catch all speeders, so this helps. At Hunky Music answers Randy and says, the problem is that photo radar is preferred over other measures that are far more effective at improving safety. Example, studies have shown that electronic speed reader boards are much more effective than photo radar. Photo radar is deemed better overall for financial reasons. Sadly, this rationale is hidden from the public. And we'll, add, we'll end with uh, Mr. Ed, Pastor Ed 777, who says, it's a revenue source, I'm sure, but dollars deter more than a slap on the wrist or any please don't speed campaign. That's also true. The key here is finding a balance between photo radar that actually works to cut down on safety and getting rid of photo radar, which is a cash cow. And in Edmonton, we have that balance all wrong right now.